Hi, it's Steph, and we're at the Home Depot, and they've received all of their beautiful summer blooming bulbs. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they've got. They have lots of beautiful dahlias. Look at this one. It's a really pretty red called Apache. It almost looks like a frilly red, very similar to a poppy. And now these packages here, the dynamite blooms, you get two in a pack for $10.98. Look at those, gorgeous. And these here are dahlias. So dahlias will bloom in late summer. So um, if you have things like zinnias and cosmos and sunflowers, those typically bloom a little earlier. And then you'll have the end of summer show with your beautiful dahlias. Now, depending on what type of zone you live in, these would have to be, the tubers would have to be lifted and stored for the winter. I'm in the gardening zone six and I do have to do that. I have to store them in an unheated garage, protect them from the frost over the winter. And then I usually plant them out around Mother's Day. So this one is called Blues Record, and it looks like a really pretty fuchsia. And all of these appear to give you two tubers for $10.98. Now the good thing about these clear bags is that you have the opportunity to kind of inspect the tubers. You can kind of move them around and look to make sure that the tubers look healthy and that they don't have any mold growing on them. Because sometimes when they're packed like this for sale, they can get a little bit of moisture and they can start to go bad. And you also wanna feel the tubers, like right here, and make sure that they're nice and firm. This is a real pretty one too, Bora Bora has like a light creamy yellow in the center with the fuchsia hot pink ends. Look at that. And another good thing to pay attention to is the height, especially when you're about to plant them. So this one here says that it's 36 to 48 inches in height, so you know that this would be a back of the border type dahlia. And the taller they are, they will require some staking. Because they're such heavy, beautiful blooms and large, if you don't stake them, if you get any kind of significant wind, it can knock them over. And if they break, then you, you know, risk not getting any more beautiful blooms. Fringed star, the yellow center with the light pink, almost has like an ombre effect. This one is pretty tall too at 36 to 48 inches. Summer to fall bloomer, excellent for cut flowers great in borders and containers. Another thing that I'm noticing as I'm picking these up and something you should pay attention to when searching through the dahlias to purchase is the weight of the package. Now this one here feels pretty light, so sometimes that could mean that the tuber has gotten pretty dehydrated. Um, so another thing to pay attention to. You wanna make sure that they don't have any signs of mold or mildew, that they feel pretty heavy, and that the tubers feel pretty firm. So those are my tips for picking out any kind of dahlias that you wanna purchase from a box store or garden center. This one here is gorgeous. Look at that color spectacle. It looks like an orange with a white tip. And this one's also pretty tall. Most of these are pretty tall. Now, if you're looking to arrange with flowers, I find that the dinner plates, while they're really beautiful and impactful, they're kind of hard to arrange flowers with because one bloom takes up a whole vase, but they look really pretty. If you put a single one in a bud vase, real pretty. Let's check out what other varieties they have here. Haley Jane, which is another pink with a darker pink on the tips, a little bit of white. Holly Hill Cotton Candy. And this one here is Kennemerland, which looks like a yellow. Ooh, look at this one. Orange Impact. That's another pretty orange one. I'm drawn to these peachy, coral, salmon colored um, flowers. This one's real pretty. And look at this beauty. Purple gem, that almost looks like iridescent, like a fuchsia purple. I really like these spiky ones, right? They're so pretty. And 36 to 48 inches in height. A few more varieties over here. Bold accent, we saw Bora Bora already. Crazy love, I've grown this one before, it's real pretty. Very similar to another variety that I have called Fern Clip Illusion. It's a very pretty light lavender and white with a little bit of yellow in the center. This one's also, um, this one's medium height, 18 to 36 inches. So this could be like your second row. So let's say you have the shorter ones in the front. This would be like a middle of the border and then the 48 inch ones in the back. But this is a pretty one as well. And the colors will be very complementary to many different colored flowers, right? Because it's a very neutral light pastel. And another pretty orange one, David Howard. Look at that, so pretty. And that would even look pretty with that one. Look at that. That one's called Icoon. Gladiolas. 
Now, I haven't been a huge fan of gladiolas over the years. Um, they are pretty, but I feel like they need staking. I did grow them along my vegetable fence, vegetable garden fence, and they did a little bit better. And I actually left the bulbs right in the ground and they came back for a couple of seasons. But they have a few varieties here. It looks like you get 24 gladiola bulbs per pack for $10.98. And they have this kind here that is a blend. It looks like you get yellow, white, and purple. And then the Violet King, which is a fuchsia and white. I would also recommend taking a look at the bulbs, making sure that they look pretty firm and in good shape with no signs of molding. The weight feels pretty good on this one. This Dahlia is gorgeous. Look at this, Eidenberg. I have a cream de cassis that is real pretty and has very similar colors. It would actually complement this quite nicely. Look at that. So pretty. 30 to 48 inches in height. Excellent cut flower. Look at that. That is stunning. Really like that one. And some lilies. I actually have this one in my garden and it's absolutely gorgeous. This one is called the Salmon Star. Look at that. It's like white with salmon like a peachy color in the center and that freckling it's really beautiful they're also very fragrant and these here get to be 24 to 36 inches in height and they bloom in the summer they like full sun to partial shade I do have to pr protect my lilies from the deer the deer do like to eat them so I would recommend if you do plant lilies to be vigilant when they start budding up and going ahead and spraying them with something like a deer and rabbit invisible fence just to make sure that you get to enjoy the beautiful blooms this is another really gorgeous dahlia a friend actually shared a tuber with me and I really loved it last summer very prolific so you get tons and tons of blooms in a really beautiful shade of purple this is the Thomas Edison look at that isn't that gorgeous they like full sun and these are 36 to 48 inches in height a few more really pretty lilies this one is called first romance and it's different shades of pink it looks like lighter and then darker in the center with some freckling here's a close-up picture this one gets to be 18 to 24 inches in height full sun to partial shade I do find that lilies will bloom better if they get a bit more sun Let's see what other kinds they have here. This one is called Smart Romance. It looks like a lighter shade of pink. And then there is Pink Romance, which is a darker pink. So it looks like they have three different ones of that romance line. They have the Smart Romance, the Pink Romance, and this one here, which is the First Romance. All of these are, you get six bulbs for $10.98. Now these have the green bag, so they make it a little bit more difficult to inspect the package. At that point, you can just kind of feel around, uh, make sure they feel pretty firm, make sure the weight feels pretty good, and um, that will be your best bet to inspect these. I bought this one last year, the Bristol Stripe, um, and it wasn't striped, it was more like a solid pink. So it was a little disappointing, but if it looked like that, it would be really gorgeous. Look at that. 1098 for two, and this one is 36 to 48 inches in height. This looks like a red one, Manhattan Island. And then Pinelands Pam. I've grown this one before. This is a real pretty one. This is the Pinelands Princess. It's also another frilly type dahlia in shades of pink. So if you like cooler colors, you could grow the pink. If you like um, warm colors, you could grow this one. It looks like an orangey red and yellow. And Tahiti Sunrise, oh, and some iris. So these are Dutch iris, which are the smaller stature type iris. Look at that. Let's see how tall they get. Looks like 18 to 24 inches. And it looks like a mixed blend, Dutch iris blend. 1098 and you get 36 in here. Now these look like bulbs. Um, the bearded iris or the um, Japanese iris are typically, you get, grow them by rhizomes. Okay, and they have fans. That's how those are grown. But these here, the Dutch iris, appear to be bulbs. Look at this beautiful gladiolus. This one is called Green Star. 24 for 10.98, and that is a real beautiful color. Almost looks like a lime green yellow. This one's nice and heavy, so these bulbs look to be in pretty good shape. This one's called Orion, this dahlia here. 
18 to 36 inches in height. I find that 18 to 36 inches is a really good height. Anything above three feet, once you start going into that four foot territory, they start requiring a little bit more staking. You could use bamboo sticks, um, some of that floral netting to keep them sort of upright. Some people even use tomato cages. Look at this, freesia, double blend. I've never grown freesia before, have you? If you have, go ahead and comment below. I'd be interested to know what your experience was. So here you get 30, it looks like bulbs, for $10.98. These feel pretty light, but maybe that's just how they are. Lots of pretty colors, look at that. And these grow to be 12 to 18 inches in height. Excellent for cut flowers and great in borders and containers. And some more beautiful lilies. I absolutely love lilies. I have a couple of varieties in my garden at this point. I have the Casablanca, which is white. I have the Salmon Star, and I have another one called Easy Whisper that's a pretty pink. They're really just beautiful flowers. So this one, Landini, looks like a really deep, dark, like burgundy, almost black foliage. Shade of purple, so beautiful. And this one here gets to be 36 to 48 inches in height, and it likes full sun to partial shade. This is another real pretty one and they actually coordinate quite well together. Look at that. So this one is Lily Nettie's Pride and you get seven of them for $10.98. I really love that these are two-toned. You get that dark center and then it fades out to these light tips. And they're quite different than the other ones that are multi-tone multi or two-tone because these here have like a freckling effect with that stripe or that vein in the center of the petal where these here have like two colors. The center is a dark color and then it fades to the light. So they're very different, but real pretty. And then there's this one here that is called Purple Dream. And I believe I've seen this one in someone's garden before. And even though it looks more red with burgundy in the center, it almost looks like more of a pink, I feel like. And it could just be when it fades, it looks more pink. But this one's called Purple Dream. And also full sun, part shade, and it is 36 to 48 inches in height. 10.98 for seven bulbs. Now, even though your box store garden centers and your nurseries are starting to get all of these bulbs in, these are warm temperature or summer blooming bulbs, which means that you can't plant them yet. If it is too cold where you are, you have to wait until any chance of frost has passed and you are now getting warmer temperatures and your soil is workable in order to plant these. So just something to keep in mind if you're getting excited about the season and you wanna buy some of these, you have to hold on to them for a couple of more weeks until you're able to actually plant them out in the soil but if you're in a warm region and you're already getting you know above freezing temperatures and the soil is workable then have at it but us in the colder zones I'm in a zone six I have to wait or I can plant these out a couple more lilies this one here is called sunset boulevard and this reminds me almost like a mango color right look how pretty that is a yellow mangoey color with a little bit of orange and some freckling and then this one is called yellow brush also really pretty in the center with that splash of color. Some more pretty gladiolus. This one is a pastel mix. So you get some purple, some pinks, and some whites. Um, and $14.98 for 50 of them. And the height on these are 50 to 60 inches in height. So if you don't want to stake them, if you plant them up against a fence, or some kind of trellis, that will offer them a little bit of support. Let's see, what else? Oh, they have another, um, bright mix here. This one is called just Gladiola Mix. And let's see, we'll get a closer look at the package here. $14.98 for 50 of them. Also 50 to 60 inches in height, summer bloomer. I like that peach one in the center there. And even this dark purple one, really pretty. Cannas, if you like cannas, they also have some cannas for sale. These are a mix and they're in one of these green bags, which makes them hard to take a look at the actual tu uh, tuber here. Some cannas, this is a mixed bag of canna, and it looks like you get seven of them for $14.98. Now these are really pretty tropical flowers, and if you keep deadheading them, which means once the blooms are done, you cut them off, it'll keep sending up new blooms all summer long until you get your first frost. They also have really pretty tropical looking foliage. And these get to be 48 to 72 inches in height. So these look real pretty on a patio, uh, by a pool, in a container. Let's see what other varieties they might have. So no more cannas here, but they have another type of lily, and these are calla lilies. 
and that's a mixed type. Now I'm in a zone six, but some people in my zone, if they plant these in a microclimate, say along the foundation of their house where it stays relatively warm, these have come back for them in the ground. And they have a really pretty shape. Look at that. They look like almost like cup shaped. And these get 18 to 24 inches. So they'd be more of like a front of the border. And it looks like the foliage on these is variegated. Can you see that? It has some speckling. And you get five of them for $14.98. Elephant ears, look at this one, super mammoth. And you get a value pack here. You get three of them for $14.98. Now in Portuguese culture, which I am Portuguese, they like to use these. These are called inyams, which are taro, taro root. And um, they cook them. They're like big potatoes, very creamy. They're actually delicious depending on how they're cooked. And um, then they can also be grown as plants with these really large leaves. Look at that. They get to be 48 to 72 inches in height and they get summer to fall foliage, long lasting color. You can overwinter these too. So once you're done growing them for the season, you can dig out these big uh, bulbs here save them over the winter in a paper grocery bag in somewhere dry and cool and then you can plant them again next season some hollyhocks the quintessential cottage garden flower now these are really beautiful one thing that they do suffer from is rust so sometimes you'll get rust on the foliage um, and typically that's just about when they're ready to bloom so you'll still get to enjoy the blooms but then the plant itself starts to look a bit unsightly but you get eight in this pack here for $14.98 it does claim that it is a perennial um, I have found that most hollyhocks are biennial, which means one year you'll get foliage, the second year you'll get blooms, and then the plant is done. But if it drops seed, then it will keep the cycle going. And these like full sun, they get to be 48 to 72 inches in height, and they bloom in the summer. And they're pollinator friendly, excellent for cut flowers. And some more bulbs. This one here is Lily of the Valley. Now this one, while very pretty and dainty, can be quite invasive. So if you do plan on planting this, a lot of people like to plant them in dry shade, like under trees. Just be cautious because they can take over a space. Um, so you want to keep them in check. You get 10 in this pack for $14.98. And these are deer resistant. So if you deal with deer in your garden, these might be a, a good option for a ground cover in an area that you do want to cover um, with a good amount because these will spread. So this here likes partial to full shade, so good woodland type plant, and it gets to be 8 to 10, eight to ten inches and in high. Mid-spring bloomer. Fragrant blooms, great in borders and containers. Here is another Asiatic lily mix. This one you get multiple colors. They like full sun to partial shade, 24 to 48 inches in height, summer bloomer. And you get 12 bulbs for $14.98. This one feels pretty heavy. Siberian iris and this one is called Caesar's brother. I actually have some of this in my garden that a neighbor had given me um, You will only need one pack of these because they will spread and get large quick So before you know it you'll be passing some on to friends family neighbors and so forth But even when they're not in bloom, they're really pretty because you get this strappy grass like foliage So they almost look like an ornamental grass the other thing about these is that they are great in spots that might be maybe stay a little bit more moist um, or have a bit more moisture because these actually prefer that. Um, they like spots like that. They will tolerate some drought, but they prefer to stay consistently moist. So this is Siberian Iris and they get to be 24 to 36 inches in height and you get eight of them for $14.98. And right on the side of them is something that I have a difficult time growing in my garden because I have lots of deer and that is hosta. Hosta, while really beautiful foliage plants, are like deer salad. Um, so here this one is called Undulata Medio Variegata. And I'm guessing that that has to do with the fact that the foliage is variegated and that means it's two-toned and you can see there that it's got the dark green on the outside with the light creamy in the middle there. And you get five pasta bare roots here for $14.98. Now these you would take apart nice and gently, pot them up in some soil and then once it is warmer outside you can go ahead and plant them in the ground or you can just plant them directly in the ground. And I've had really good success with bare root hosta. Good way to start them really affordably. And some peonies. These are actually really great from bare root. You just have to have a little bit of patience because it takes them about three years before they really start putting on some growth and sending out some really pretty blooms for you. This variety here is called Carl Rosenfield and you get three of them for $14.98. 
Now this one here grows to 32 to 36 inches in height. And because peonies have really large blooms, they do need some support. So you can always pick up one of those round um, type plant supports that have the uh, grid pattern in them and it will help these stay nice and upright. And even when they're done blooming, the foliage is really pretty and will hold out for a really long time, I find, in my garden. This one here is a mix. As soon as I picked this up, I could tell that this one was a little bit light. Um, hard to inspect because it has a green bag, but you can kind of just feel, feel around and see what you think. Uh, use your best judgment. So this one here, you get three again for $14.98. It says that there's a half eye. Um, the eyes is typically how many blooms you'll get. So if this said, say, three eyes, that would mean that you might get three growth points or the potential for three blooms that year. Um, so the more eyes, the bigger or more established the plant and the more blooms you'll get. So this one is a beautiful variety. I actually have this one in my garden. It is the Sarah Bernhardt. It is so fragrant that I just wanna like inhale the smell when they're in bloom. Beautiful, beautiful plant, wonderful smell, very reminiscent of spring, and it looks absolutely gorgeous in a bouquet. They look like a rose with all of the petals that they have, very fluffy. Um, and here you get three for $14.98. I absolutely love this one. And it gets to be 32 to 36 inches in height and some caladiums, begonias, and some more canna lilies. So we found some more. This one here is a canna Wyoming and it has a really beautiful orange coloring. This one gets 48 to 72 inches in height and you get three for 10.98. And then there is this one here, which is called King, Red King Humbert. It has a reddish orange coloring to it. Again, three for 10.98. This one looks like it might have a little bit of a dark edge on the foliage there. Oh, and this one does have dark foliage. Look at that. That's real pretty. And some begonias. Look at this. What a pretty mix. This one's called the double mix and you get four of them for $10.98. And they look that in height, they look to be kind of short, six to 12 inches. So these might be a good option for say containers or hanging baskets even long-lasting color you get four of them for 10.98 and some more i think we already looked at this one the color spectacle that's a real pretty one this is another really beautiful and popular variety of dahlia the arabian nights you get three of them for 10.98 it's another shade of red and you can see how these kind of all coordinate together these are all like warm colors you have the oranges with the reds and this one has a little bit of white duet is what this one is called that's real pretty. Man, I like all of these. Problem is, you need a lot of garden space to grow all of these beautiful cut flowers. And here's another can of mix. I think this is the same one we saw before, the mix. This one, look at this beauty. It's called Canna Picasso. It's like a freckled one. It almost looks like an orchid, doesn't it? Has that yellow orange color with a little bit of red freckling. And another Dahlia, this one is called Nordwick's Glory. I love that one. It looks like almost like a smaller bloom. So this would be a bit easier to arrange with than say some of the larger blooms, but the impact that these provide, so worth it growing those dinner plates, at least a few of them. They are stunning. And these here get to be 36 to 48 inches in height. Another really popular variety of dahlia is this dinner plate sized dahlia, the Kelvin Floodlight. It's a yellow one, look at that. Classic yellow, you get three of them for $10.98. Some more elephant ears and gladiola and some more lilies. So this one's an oriental mix. Um, it's a little bit different than the other mix that we looked at. This one here, you get seven of them for $10.98 and it looks like you get white, pinks, and then this multi light pink with the freckling. 30 to 48 inches in height. And this one's the Stargazer, which I also have in my garden. This is a real pretty one as well. So pretty. Look at that. The Stargazer, you get seven of them for $10.98 and they get to be 24 to 48 inches in height. And these multiply. So if you have them in your garden, you might start off with a pack of seven and in a few years you might have 14 and so forth. And then you can divide them and put them in other places in the garden. And then there's this one here that is called Red Rock. Let's look at that. You get 10 of the, uh, 10.98 for seven of them. This one is 20 to 28 inches in height. So they're a little bit shorter. 
And one more lily down here. Oh, this one is the tiger lily. I'm pretty sure most people have seen these before. They are sometimes referred to as a uh, ditch lily. Um, these can get pretty aggressive and they can spread quite a bit. So if you want to add these to your garden, you just want to be cautious of that of this particular variety. So the tiger orange lily, you get five of them for $10.98. And these get to be 36 to 48 inches in height and full sun to partial shade. Tigrita. And you get 25 of them for $10.98. Those are really cute. Look at that. It says plant me with ranunculus. How big do these get? They like full sun and they get to be 12 to 18 inches in height. They're a summer bloomer, long lasting color and deer and critter resistant. And if you like red flowers, this one's a beauty. This dahlia is called Garden Wonder. Three of them for $10.98. And this one here says that it gets 18 to 36 inches in height. And here's something I have tried before that actually didn't bloom for me. Tell me, have you tried Peruvian daffodils and how did they work out? So I was really intrigued by how pretty and frilly this bloom is, but I planted the bulbs and they didn't grow. So I would never know what they looked like. Um, so comment below, I'd be interested to know. This here, you get two of them for $5.98 and they are full sun. They get to be 12 to 36 inches in height. They're a summer bloomer and it says that they are fragrant. The Ismene Peruvian Daffodil. Some freesia, and these here are the single mix, $5.98 for 10 of them. I've never grown freesia before either. They look to be 12 to 18 inches in height, and they have a single mix and a double mix. Oh, these are some pretty good gladiolas. Look at these. This one is called the Bonita Harmony Blend, and you get $5.98, you get eight of them. And something that last year was kind of hard to come by. I had quite a few people commenting on my videos that they were having a hard time finding caladiums. We ended up finding them over at Walmart, but this year it doesn't seem like there's a problem with caladium inventory because they have quite a few here at the Home Depot. So I actually grew this variety last year, this white caladium in a planter. It was absolutely gorgeous. So I was I tried to overwinter the, um, the bulbs or the corms, and we're going to see what happens this year. I hope that I can get another year out of them. But you get three of them for $5.98. And these like to be in part shade. It says partial to full shade. Yep. So I had mine in a part shade situation, but they would probably do better in a full shade. Because if the sun gets too hot, they can burn and crisp up the foliage a little bit. So they get to be 24 to 30, uh, 12 to 24 inches in height, summer to fall foliage, great in borders and containers and long lasting color. So this is an annual for me here in my zone six. And um, it's a really beautiful, colorful foliage type plant. This variety here is called Carolyn Wharton. And again, you get three for $5.98. And this one looks like it's green with some pink speckling and veining. And then there's this variety here that is called the Florida Cardinal. And it's a little bit different than the other one. You can see the difference. One of them is more speckled and the other one is more solid pink with the green edge. Again, you get three of them for $5.98. 12 to 18 inches in height on those. And then this is a mix. So you get a Caladium mix, three of them for $5.98. And you get some of the white and the pink and green mix. And here's a stunning canna. This is the Black Knight variety. Has dark foliage with red blooms. Look at that. Full sun gets to be 48 to 60 inches in height. Unique foliage, great in borders and containers. And you get two of them for $5.98. Here's something I grew in my garden from bare root, and that is Liatris, also known as Gay Feather. This is a wonderful, upright, spike-type perennial. The bees absolutely love it, and it has this like grassy, strappy-type foliage, and then these really fluffy purple blooms that come up. I want to say sometime around July, and uh, you get $5.98, you get 10 of them in this package. They like full sun. They get to be 24 to 36 inches in height. They are a summer bloomer and they're excellent for cut flowers, deer and critter resistant. Now the way that I planted these is it says that you get 10 in the pack, but what I would do is I would probably make three groupings of three um, and that would be nine so you'd have one left over that you can just throw in one of the groups. Um, that's how I would do it. I would group the bulbs together so that you get an impact a little bit sooner. But that is Liatris 
and another variety of lily here let's see this one is called Levon and it looks like a real pretty yellow with some orangey red in the center you get two of them for $5.98 and they're 36 to 48 inches in height and ranunculus I have grown ranunculus once before I think that the corms are really cool looking because they almost look like little bunches of bananas and what I know about these is that you have to soak the ranunculus corms before you go ahead and plant them and it is good to start these indoor under grow lights if you can first to give them a little bit of a head start these also like cooler temperatures of spring so once it gets too hot they will start stop producing blooms but they have really stunning blooms also look similar to a rose lots and lots of petals look at that so 5.98 you get 12 of them in this package and this is a mix and they like full sun they get to be 12 to 18 inches in height and it says that they're a summer bloomer I would say late spring to early summer and then they kind of peter out but they really are gorgeous blooms and if you're looking for some edibles they also have some strawberries and seed potatoes for seed potatoes, they have Yukon Gold and Red Norland, as well as a blend. They also have some onion sets, and it looks like you get 60 onion sets for $4.98. Now these do like cooler temperatures, so you can plant these out in the spring, as long as your soil is workable, and that would work out fine. Potatoes, um, strawberries, strawberries are perennial, so you plant them once and you get the plants going and they come back year after year. So it looks like you get 10 strawberry starts in here for $10.98. Now they can get carried away too, so you have to keep an eye on them because they send out runners so they can take over an area pretty quickly. This variety looks pretty interesting, the White Carolina. And then they have some bare root grapes. So here at my store they have a Himrod seedless green variety. They have this Concord seedless and blueberries. The Jersey blueberry and the blue crop blueberry. These do take a few years to start picking up and giving you enough fruit. So if you plant a couple, it's always best to plant a couple of them so you can get a really good harvest. Um, I want to say it takes probably three, at least minimum three years before you start getting anything off of your plants. The birds also really like the blueberries, so I find that I have to net them in order for me to get any fruit in my garden. But I've had mine for a couple of years. They should start producing a good amount hopefully soon um, but my parents have a really beautiful large grapevine and it's really fun to pick the grapes once they start kind of ripening sometime around September um, they also have some raspberry bare roots the varieties are Caroline um, two red ones they have are both Caroline and then one that I also planted a couple of years ago is this really pretty orange one um, well, they call them the gold type raspberries this one is called Anne I planted an Anne and a fall gold and they are delicious 1098 you get one of them here they like full sun they get to be three to five feet tall and wide harvest early to late season. Um, one of my gold varieties will kind of keep producing throughout the season sporadically. I believe it's the fall gold. Fresh, healthy, and delicious snack. Garden snacks are fun. Cherry tomatoes, berries. Another variety of grape here called Reliance, another seedless. You get one bare root for $10.98. Asparagus is another perennial vegetable. So these also take about three years before you really start um, reaping the benefits of planting these, but another really great vegetable to have in your garden. If you have a little space, you can dedicate to growing asparagus. This is a vegetable that can be expensive to purchase. If you can grow it in your garden, that would be wonderful. So look at that, $4.98 for a three pack of the Mary Washington. My store also has this rack of fertilizers and there's some really good ones on here. The Alaska Fish Fertilizer on the top there is one of my favorites, as is the Espoma brand fertilizer. So these are the organic tones. They have the rose tone, some bone meal, soil acidifier. They even have berry tone in stock. I love the plant tone. I use that almost on anything. Um, the biotone is great when you plant things from scratch, like if you're putting something new in the ground, gets the roots really going and growing. But this product here I've used for a few years. I use it on vegetables and on flowers. It is wonderful. It's really stinky, but the plants love it. Um, so you can get a bigger one here. It's $24.97. Or if you just want to try it out, the smaller one is $14. 47. You just mix it into your watering can with some water and then you go ahead and feed your plants. 
But if you are getting ready to prune your roses for the season in late winter is a good time to do that. You can give them a feeding with some rose tone. My knockout roses do beautifully with this product here. $14.98 for the eight pound bag. Yeah, eight pounds. And then some bone meal. This bone meal is wonderful to add into the planting hole with dahlias. So any, any of these bulbs that I just showed you today, if you're gonna go ahead and plant them in your garden, throw some bone meal in the hole with them. They'll really, really love it and they'll do great for you. Espoma also has this product, which is a soil acidifier. Now this would be wonderful to use with blueberries because blueberries really love acidic soil. So you can use them on your blueberries, but this product specifically says that it also turns hydrangeas blue. So if you have any of these macrophylla type or mop head type hydrangeas that you maybe want to change from like a pink purple to blue, add this to your soil over a few seasons and it will start turning your hydrangeas blue because what gives you the blue hydrangeas is the acidity in your soil. If you have a more alkaline soil, you will get more purple pink. But if you have more acidic soil, you will get more blue hydrangeas. Well, that brings us to the end of the summer blooming bulbs inventory here at the Home Depot. I hope that you've enjoyed checking out what my store has in stock. And I hope that you're able to find some of these beautiful varieties near you. Here is what I'm picking up today. I'm going to grab one of these Dahlia Eidenbergs. I think it's really beautiful. I'm going to add it to my collection. And thank you so much for spending your time with me and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. And we'll see you soon.